I'm Erica Sargent and I'm Rob Johnson. We begin tonight with a break in the case of a murdered two year old killed just over two weeks ago. That break came from people talking, giving key tips to investigators. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio was live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Suzanne. Rob, Erica, oftentimes people are very reluctant to come forward and tell police what they know about a crime. But in this case, that all changed with the arrest of Alexander Varela being held right now on no bond. And now police are looking for other suspects. We had a lot of community involvement. Alderman Gilbert Villegas says soon after this police roll call in the Hermosa neighborhood two weeks ago, then we're going to get this started. Two people from the community contacted him with information about the shooting death of a two-year-old boy. The community has just had enough of this and, and have been given information to CPD and the detectives did a great job in uh, putting the case together. Villegas says it speaks volumes. Tipsters had the courage to contact authorities. Police say Alexander Varela is a high-ranking gang leader. He has numerous domestic battery arrests. It's alleged he ordered gang members to shoot into a crowd, wounding an innocent 18-year-old boy and leaving the two-year-old dead. To have it happen to a two-year-old is just very sad. And I think that you can sense the frustration from the community that uh, they were just tired of this. Do you say this arrest really means the community has just had enough? Oh yeah, it's, this is this is huge for us. Community uh, activist Robert Torres lives just a few blocks away from the shooting. Everybody plays a part. The police department, the politicians, uh, the community. We all play a big part uh, to make a difference. And we just show the power, what the power of unity does in our community. And Torres says still more work needs to be done when it comes to solving unsolved crimes in Chicago and encouraging people with information to come forward. Live at Chicago Police Headquarters, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Suzanne, thank you. Thick black.